Hello, good evening, and aye, 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 aye. welcome to Sunday Night Trucking. Thank you, Mans. Good evening, Nutters. Can we have a very quick AV check to get us going here? Happy anniversary. Can you hear me okay and see me okay? Mans, that was very well timed, dude. Thank you very much. AV's 10 out of 10. We'll take that. AV check is good. Move the oh, microphone yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. My, my panel just went crazy. What the heck? It's like you all just sat there and went boom like that and clicked a button. Am I driving a Volvo today? What gives you that impression? <laughs> I shall try and read those messages when they calm down a bit. That's a lot of resubs. Crikey. Boom! Have you had a good weekend? How was your Sunday? I had a Sunday roast. I had roast potatoes, chicken, sweet corn peas, gravy on top, and I had uh, a meringue's nest with fruit and cream for afters. What about you? That was my Sunday roast. And very nice it was too. You mean an of job? Yep. It's an of job as well. You've been up to Lancashire earlier today. Nice. Where I was born. You'll be having your dinner in 20 minutes. Happy anniversary. You gain four pounds here and there. <laughs> you drive a Volvo at work. Oh, did you get your ADR license? Nice. Happy anniversary, Nata. Nachos for dinner. Pizza's on Sunday. Okay. You're going to have some kind of slow cooker. Happy yeah, I, I don't know. I've never owned a slow cooker. Because, like, normally... I don't know. I, the idea of a slow cooker kind of baffles my brain. It's a bit like buying a slow kettle. If I, if I want hot water, I want it now. I don't want it slowly. I want it now. And if I want to eat... I, I generally speaking, I feel hungry and then I want to eat. I don't want to be like... Oh, you know what? I'm going to plan for in seven hours' time when I'll be hungry. I don't... Welcome back. So I don't really... I don't really get it, you know? I don't get the idea of a slow cooker. I mean, I suppose you could put it on and then go to work all day and come home and have your food. But then... Do you really want to leave a cooker on all day when you're not there? Not really. So Welcome I don't get it. Back. Slow Welcome. cookers are awesome. Explain! Sell me! Come on, sell me on the slow cooker. Why, why do I want to plan to have food when I'm not hungry? What am I, what am I doing wrong here? It does something to the taste. Okay, so I could perhaps understand maybe... I don't know, like a stew or a hot pot. Like something where the flavour soaks into the meat maybe. I could perhaps get that. Maybe it tastes better, but I've never tried it, so I don't know. My hot pots and casserole or Mrs. Squirrels taste pretty good, so I'm not complaining. They're good for cooking things whilst you're away. But my cooker does that, and it doesn't do it slowly. I, I go in, I put something in the cooker, I, like a pizza, 15 minutes, I walk away, it cooks it for me. I go back and I eat it. And I don't have to wait four or five hours. You currently have a barbecue sauce pork roast on a slow cooker. Happy yeah, but do you not sit there going... Man, I can't wait to eat that. I'm so hungry, but I've only got to wait another three hours and then I can eat it. That would do my head in. <laughs> Gammon tastes lovely when it's slowly cooked. It's healthy. Where do you get that idea? How, how is slow cooking food more healthy than not slow cooking food? Explain to me. Explain to me what magical process makes it more healthy. Yeah, casseroles, I reckon, like I say, a casserole, perhaps it would work nicely. I am going to try and read those messages now they've calmed down a bit. Crikey, guys. Uh, who was the first one? Uh, Happy I'm trying to find it somewhere. 
You normally have the cooker overnight. You use the slow cooker when you're both at work. Yeah, you see, Mrs. Geek, I, I, that feels uncomfortable to me. I, I don't like the idea of having a cooker on and nobody in the house. I just... I, something about that doesn't, fit, doesn't sit well with me. I'd rather not. Like, if the smoke alarm goes off, I'd rather be there. <laughs> like, go and deal with it or get out of the house. I don't want my house torched and there's nobody there to put the fire out, you know? You're cooking it for longer to get rid of the bad stuff. I'm still not sold on that idea. you It's in a pot. Nothing is leaving that pot. How is the bad stuff being gotten rid of? I'm not I'm not sold yet on that one. You use a bread maker overnight? No. Well, that's a slightly different thing. The bread maker, you can have turn itself on at like four in the morning. And all it does is like get slightly warm and then get hot inside for a bit. It doesn't do very much, but with a slow cooker, unless you're on about like a self-contained electric one, maybe. I don't know. Is that, is that, I've never owned one. Is that how they work? Is it like a separate unit to your cooker? So you don't, you know, there's no naked flame or anything like that? Is it just plug in and go? I've never owned one. My camera's a bit fuzzy at times. It's probably the chroma key and not the camera. <clears throat> but... Uh, it doesn't look that fuzzy to me. Is that fuzzy? Doesn't look fuzzy. Looks clear. Taking a 1080p image and scaling it down shouldn't really make it fuzzy. You plug it in and set it on low heat all day. What happens if you're not there when, like, if you're late home from work for like an hour and you get back and it's gone cold again? <laughs> now it's okay, but from time to time it goes crazy. Really? I'll check it later. Anyway, let me read some messages here. Porridge is nice, slow cooked. It's still cooked, you just reheat it. What if it's chicken? You're not supposed to reheat chicken. <laughs> Cone 415, four months already. Thought this may have already gone. Uh, Cam, though, keep it the good work and all the best to you and the school family. Thank you, Cone. FH12 by Ohaha. That's what we're going to be driving. That's not an FH12, but that's... Well, it's actually Pendragon who runs it now. But yeah, same thing. Also called a crock pot. Uh, Letty, 1985. Thank you for resume. Obel, thank you for three months. Uh, K Vinkler with 15 months. Michael Douglas gifted a sub to Puita99. Welcome, Puita. And thank you very much, Michael, for gifting a sub. That's very kind of you. It's Smithers with a thousand bits. Hello, Welcome Squirrel. Back. How are you? I'm not bad, Smithers. I hope you're well. Thank you for a thousand bits. Very, very kind. You're supposed to reuse water bottles. I reuse water bottles quite a lot, actually. And then I recycle them. Yurievich with 18 months. Well, hello there. Handdog1 with two months. Hello, Paul. I love your streams. Thank you. Sneeny. Is that Sneeny? Thank you for subbing Sneeny. Welcome to the nut house. There's no room in my kitchen for a crock pot. <laughs> Amodo Sandstone, 27 months. Tw Trends, 20 with four. And Bram Gaming with 27. BCS with 54 months. Getting closer to five years. <laughs> That's scary. That is properly scary. You are... Is that six months away? Holy. My God, dude. That's scary, that is. Captain Creeper and Rohit, thank you for the resumes. R. Stratman, thank you for Nermans. JE9900 with four months. Can't believe it's been four months already. Here's to many more in the best community on Twitch. Happy anniversary. No, I looked at booking my flights to Vegas last night, Michael Brown, but then uh, I kind of noticed that the prices have gone up. Dre, my panel stopped working. I'm pretty certain there's a gap in my panel right now. I don't know. I've only got events from 1708, Dre, which is eight minutes ago. Something's not right, bro. Dre! McBone with 100 bits. Hello, all. Are we there? Are we there yet? We're not yet, McBone. Yeah, Dre, someone's not broke. Someone's broken, dude. Is Dre listening, by the way? Or do I need to text him? Mods, can you poke Dre? 
my panel's frozen at 1708. So I can't read anything after 1708 right now. Instead, I shall go and configure a truck. It's not actually Muttley's fault this time. I could drive over, but why drive when you can teleport? That's what I always say. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, I can't see that. That's not come through. He's going to tell me now the API's gone down. I might be able to read it on my second thingy. Hang on. Is that Corre... Corre Nux Tutors? Sub with Twitch Prime? I don't know, Benji T. I saw that shadow flicker as well. Jules with Hello Mate with 100 bits. I can see that one. Miles High Nutter. I'll read them out when they all come through, guys. Some, something's definitely broken. Something's broken and Dre needs to fix it. <clears throat> right, let's configure. I thought we've not driven a Volvo for a while, so I thought we'd... Um, I thought we'd dig out... Uh, Ohaha's Volvo. Currently maintained by Pendragon. Thought we'd dig out a Volvo. I checked back on my list of trucks Welcome we've driven, back. and uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since we drove the old job, so I thought we'd... Uh, We'd get it. Smurf121184. Sunday night trucking. Whoop whoop. Good evening, Paul, for the nutters. Here's hoping to uh, um, hopefully here all night till Super Bowl. Oh, is it Super Bowl tonight? Thank you, Smurf. You've done a roast gammon and it all came out well. Was it slowly cooked, Mrs. Frosty? That's the question. Was it slowly cooked? Doesn't the Volvo look weird like that? Welcome back, nutter. The Volvo is its one of those trucks that just looks better with the XL. You know what I mean? It just doesn't look like... The MANs work like this. The Volvo looks odd. I don't know why. And that doesn't look quite as good, but the XL just works. It's weird. My camera is fuzzing. Why is my camera fuzzing then? Let me check the CPU. Maybe we've got a CPU overload going on or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wasn't fuzzing yesterday, was it? One second. No, uh, 24%. No, CPU's doing fine. CPU's fine. I don't know why it's, uh, I don't know why it would be fuzzing. Wait, when can you describe what you mean by fuzzing? W what exactly is going on? The green screen is static when you move your hand up and down. Green screen is static. Hey. Eh? You're getting white dots, white noise. Okay, so maybe then. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to have to mess about with the green screen settings, <clears throat> which is always fun. Always fun messing about with green screen settings when you're live. Here we go. Um, let's see. Um, 60... Happy anniversary, okay. Nutter. Let's try that. You mean the outline of the objects such as your hand or green colour thin line? Welcome back. Nutter. Well, you always get that with the green screen anyway, Captain Flint. The, the magic comes from the settings of the chroma key, you know? Still there, uh, you got white noise. Right, okay. I, I, I don't know. I can't see this white noise. Where is this white noise, guys? Above my head. I don't see this. Look down and you've got white noise. Is it? Oh, no, now I see it. Whoa, what the heck? What's that? How 
How does that work? Welcome back, Nata. What on earth is that? I have never seen anything like that before. Honestly, I I have no idea what that is. I have no clue what that is. That is bizarre. Happy anniversary. Oh, yeah, yeah. RF interference. We still get it. It's just the way the green screen's behaving. Happy it's off the black bar. Nutter. Is it all? That's just the weirdest thing. See, that's the noise there, isn't it? It's basically that. Still learning. Still learning. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you are. I think we fixed it. I think it's gone now. That's bizarre. Sunday night troubleshooting. That's what we should call it. That is the weird... Honestly, I've never seen that. In all the time I have been doing this, I have never seen that before. Never. Never once have I seen it. Like, I dip my head down and everything just starts snowing. Never seen that. No, no, I'm not. I'm not blocking light. You can see what I'm doing. <laughs> the lights are, like, over there. That's bizarre. Um, Vromtown just joined the resub craze with everyone else. Only five months, so I got three accounts to golden nut. Lol, Vrom. Yeah, Dre, stuff ain't coming through, bro. Stuff ain't coming through. Kalishnikov, 30 months. Time really does fly. Smurf. Sunday night trucking. Good evening, Paul, fellow nutters. Hopefully here till the Super Bowl. Right, we're up to date on that one. Thank you, Smurf. Uh, Stevie LFC, it's nanobots. <laughs> Jules, are we there yet? Happy anniversary. Captain Stuff with 24 months and a full two years. I need text dry, because something weird's going on. Anniversary. You like Volvo trucks? They're pretty high tech these days. Dark Delta, every truck is high tech these days. Well, every modern new truck is high tech. Anyway, let's um let's get rid of that for a second. Depot to your skin. I actually didn't text him, to be honest. I forgot. Trey's looking at it. <clears throat> Thought I was doing retro trucking. That was the other day, Matty. Let's think about what. A, B. 8 by 4 The only problem with the... I mean, I love this truck, but... Being able to drive 100 meters does worry me. Like the configuration of an electric truck. The range of an electric truck does worry me. Don't like that very much. Do you not think it's it's interesting that in the truck analysis, it doesn't tell you what the truck's range might be or how much fuel it can hold? Like, it doesn't say holds 300 litres or whatever. It just doesn't give you that information. You know, engine's information 
average range fuel in tank. You know, you just don't seem to get that. So as you're going through this, you're going, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll go for something like a 400 range. That's fine. Oh, my God. One earth. Look at the size of that tank. What the heck? Well, no, it will depend on your driving style to some extent, Tom. With modern automatics, less so. But the point is, it doesn't give you any data. It doesn't give you any data. I want something different. The war dog. The stereophobic. The Morowats. Hmm. Rear lift. I just know that if I go with one of these and drive around Russia, we're going to end up with problems. I just know it. You see the fuel capacity in the diagnostic, but that's uh, after you've bought the truck. Exactly. You've just got an idea. What if the truck from my summer car got ported to ETS? I'm surprised, Whiteland. I'm actually surprised it's not already happened. Uh, the B doesn't have that small a tank. Yeah, but it has an extra axle that I don't really want, you know. I, don't, I just don't want something that long going around. You've seen what Russia's parking spots are like. <laughs> it's just going to be a world of pain. Why is it called a war dog? You'd love what, Heyman? I'm going to go with a 6x4 Moravats, whatever that is. It seems to move the, uh, the fifth wheel slightly back and be a tag lift. Other than that, I'm not really sure. Oh, you mean you would love to have the Maya Summer Car truck in this? It should happen. It needs to happen. Right, engine size. Hmm. Let's go minimum. Let's go 420 and see how things go, shall we? It's uh, an illegal Volvo like the Scania. Yeah, somebody did a 2 or a 3,000 horsepower one, I think. <clears throat> somebody definitely did one. I'm sure they did. Go for hire, go and buy road quality in Russia these days. Look, I'm saying go minimum, and you guys are saying go full power. How does this work? Wardog's fifth wheel, it's over the B axle. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. This one isn't. Go with no power. Yeah, that sounds a good one. Let, let's just sit in the car park. There's no such thing as a 426x4, Divina. Why is it listed here, then? Happy medium with a 16. 600. You prefer minimums more challenging, Floaty. Let's give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. The transmission. Happy anniversary, Nata. We could go for um, a 3.0 differential. It's like slightly different ratios. Okay, all the messages are now coming through. So Dre's just fixed something. Now my panel's gone. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Twelve speed. Let's go here. Okay, interior. The standard... Oh, ha, ha. I hope the wheel can be changed. Because I'm not driving like that. The exclusive... Oh, ha, ha. The standard... What's the difference between the standard and standard? Oh, okay. He snazzed up the uh, the seats and stuff. That's what he's done. Happy anniversary. Okay, let's go with the exclusive... Oh, ha, ha. I don't want too much lemon in my... Um, in my cabin. Thank you very much. Let's get a paint on the outside. Black on red. 
Nope, we can't configure that. Can't configure. What the heck is that? Uh, DHL, not really. Not really. Not configurable. I like the dog. <laughs> I like the dog, but the blue isn't listed as a color you can change, which is a bit weird. Like, what are they changing exactly? Metallica. I can change those. Change that to something. Um, right, I need to try and catch up on these messages now that they're coming through again. So, what did we get up to here? Sorry about this. We had a technical difficulty. Which I think Dre is now fixed. Um, Happy anniversary, Nata. Rome 10 we did. Chris94 with 100 bits. Good evening. Pleasure to be here tonight. Let's pimp this off job. Oh, subs. I don't know if you saw in your Twitch inbox and on Discord, I posted the application form to join the... Um, the we're doing an MP event next Saturday. Okay, subs. Uh, next week's stream on Saturday in the afternoon will be a Euro Truck multiplayer convoy. It'll be a big convoy in a private server. Okay? And I'll be streaming it. So you'll be able to watch it. But if you're a sub, you can apply to join it. Uh, but the closing date is Wednesday evening, so you need to get the application in if you've not already done so. <clears throat> uh, go on to Discord or ch check your Twitch inbox if you're a Twitch sub. Um, Rome 10, the resub craze, Griff94, Captain Creeper, one and a half years support on the channel. You're a gamer with a resume and four months. Uh, not James Bond with a sub, welcome. <laughs> welcome, not James Bond. Uh, stream again, 16. Chris Laidler with 8. Seated Dan with a resume. Dan Cross with a new sub. Welcome, Dan Cross. I'm going to have to rip through these. I'm sorry. Jules with 100 bits. Uh, Miles High Nutter, 2 months. JKM with a resume. Uh, Corona Extras, Extras with a sub. Corona, thank you. Welcome. Kenny Mosier. Hello, Squirrel and Fellow Nutters. Hope you're well. Me and my fine lady, Claire, are enjoying Sunday Night Trucking. Thank you very much, Kenny. And hello, Claire. Sigurdur A with a resume. Luke 308 with a resume. Chop Suey Lewis gifted a sub to Osvis. Welcome, Osvis. Thank you, Chop Suey. Uh, Matthias with a resume. Funky Matthew. Spaniel with some kind of link to slow cookers. This will tell you all about slow cookers. They have a small kitchen and they don't take up much space. Join the slow cooker nation. <laughs> JKM with two months. Spark Stacks with a resume. Captain Stuff with two years. Our Basket with a resume. Luke 308. Uh, keep up the good work, Paul. And good evening, Nutters. Jules over there, yeah. Duke of Luke with two months. Um, pretty certain resub yesterday, but hey. Stevie LCF with 200 bits. Nanobots, squirrel cheese. Mr. Drift, Svee. Welcome to the house, Mr. Drift. Uh, Scotsman, 15 months. Daily Mouse with 20. Tasmanian Devil's Bro, full power. All bells and whistles, no less. Eek, we went the other way. Uh, David C, oh, yeah, 15 months. Yeah. I wonder how many hours the 15 months have been spent watching you configure a truck. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Crusher UK, 37 months. USMC Vet with seven months in counting. Keep up the good work. Milton Dev, 11 months. Wow, hope you and the family are well. Can't wait for the golden cap. Uh, Febelel with three months. Much love from Slovenia. Keep up the good work. Thank you, dude. Mikey with 30 months hype. Stevie LCF. Applied this morning for the convoy. Looking forward to ever accepted. And Jet Cat with 33 months, and I think that brings us up to date. Let's configure a truck. Right, what colour did we go for last week? It was was it green? Green? Welcome to no, the hang on. House. We went for the um was it the Kamaz last week? Which we started off in a colour, then we went to a camo. Can I fix the steering wheel? I assume we can. If we can't, then I'm changing truck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Spartans 5499, welcome to now, Spartans. Thank you very much for your support. NPR, Wonder One SCS will put the Scania, the Scania new 650 engine in the game. IRL, a friend testing one, apparently, it has the same output as the old 730. You'd be looking at tuning it up to 1200 and maybe 1500. Blimey. Ooh. Kind of peachy colour. Look at that. It's not too bad. Kind of like a. Um, 
like a strange reddish brown, isn't it? Interesting color. Black. What can we do with the black? Make it white. Oh, what does that do? That changes the trim. Okay, let's keep that. Oh, man, I just clicked on the wrong oh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, do you know I hate that? Well, rip that collar. It was about there, wasn't it? It was about there. Give or take. Put something darker in. There you go. Something like that. And then that one, make sure that's definitely white. Jobs are good. Un. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's not red, dude. If you think that's red, there's something wrong with your monitor. <laughs> Jules, I can't go online in ETS2 ATS. Oh dear. You can't join them, Jules, unfortunately. Because it's an online thing. Um, Right. Bonfire, no. Actually, let's put a bar on there. Let's see. Roof bar. Bio high. That's quite a nice bar, actually. I'm not going to use them because I don't think... I assume that's going to be... No? Oh, here's the spoiler. I was going to say, yeah, but you can add the arrow kit. Don't think we really want an arrow kit because I can't see us. I kind of feel like we're going to be hauling special stuff, not the boxy stuff. Without the side spoilers, it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? McLaren Orange. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's got a similarity to McLaren Orange, I guess. Um, let's go with that, I think. I'll do it. Cab lights at the top. Can't really see those. No, they don't they don't sit very well, do they? They're floating, that's why. They're actually floating. Maybe they're meant to connect to something else. Your world still isn't working properly, Hibs. I'll fix it, dear boy. Um, maybe we could put the lights here. I'm sure that's floating as well. No, nope, that's not floating. Put a couple of reverses here. To give us a bit of illumination. Add custom lights. Custom lights plus. Add LED lights. LED lights plus. Does anybody know what the difference is between the lights and the lights plus? Because there's no visible difference here. Has the man found the crowbar? What do you mean? Is it possible for me to put up my application to convoy later in the week? I will not be free. I will not find I'm not free on Saturday. Uh, Mr. Pixiel, I don't know. I don't know. Because, like, I don't know how clever Google is on the Google form. Like, I've ticked the box so you can go back and edit it, but if you're logged in, if you're logged into your Google account, that'll definitely work, because it'll know that you're going back to an application. If you're not logged into Google, I don't know. On the antenna on the roof, there's some lines. Oh, what, well, it puts something up here. Hang on, Dre's texting me. Okay, it's fixed. Thank you, Dre. Right, um, let's get on with this. Roof bar... 50k light markers. What else have we got in here? Can we get like an air horn sloping down maybe? Nope. Wow. That's insane. I can't imagine there'd be many roof cabs that's going to work on. Apart from like a flat top or something. 
Why does it not slope down? You know what you need? You know what would be really useful? If, if SCS allowed you to click an accessory and then you got like a little control here with like a like a tilt up, tilt down, or tilt that way. You know what I mean? Like an X, Y, Z control maybe. So you just rotate things slightly. Oh, move yeah, them yeah, into yeah. position. I mean, that would be great. <laughs> I could just get that air horn now and just slope it down the roof, make it follow the line. Funky Spaniel, are you watching Super Bowl? Uh, no, because I've not. I don't watch um, American football anymore, so I won't be staying up to watch that. I used to back in the day. Fifty k. Okay, well, I like them. Hmm. How many lights? That's always a question. Uh, put the end big horn on to the just side of the roof. What, down here? Yeah. It's probably going to work better there. I don't know if we want the monster, though, do we? Do we really want the monster? With a 420 engine? With a monster air horn? It's quite clear where we spent our budget, I would say. Good evening, Debbie. One second. I'm well, thank you, Cricketer. If you use these horns, you'll go backwards. <laughs> <laughs> large one, 77, eight months. Good watching uh, you the last eight months. Five star streams. Thank you, large one. Did anybody watch on, on Friday when we played 18 Wheels of Steel? Was it Friday? 18 Wheels of Steel we played. Retro trucking. That was good fun. I'd like to say that you can go and watch it on Squirrel Plus right now, but I seem to be having some difficulty with YouTube thinking that my 18 Wheels of Steel videos are unsuitable for advertisers. So when I get that dealt with, I'll put those videos out. Also, my bus driver simulator videos as well are unsuitable for advertisers. There are four lines. <laughs> yes, YouTube's bots are brilliant. YouTube's self-learning bots are the best. So YouTube has unleashed a load of self-learning bots, right? Even they don't know how they work. See, somebody thought, somebody at Google said, you know what? We've got this self-learning technology now. It can go around and figure things out. We don't need to code the algorithms anymore. We can just unleash it on the platform and let it figure it out. It's brilliant. So that's what they did. So all these bots are running around going, that's not suitable. That's not suitable. That's not suitable. And they're completely getting it wrong. And then you have to submit to YouTube to have it manually looked at. And then a person comes in and goes, what? That's fine. What? That's fine. That's fine as well. Stupid oh, bot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's basically what the platform is now. <laughs> yeah, I've got to add some beacons, don't worry. MPR 1999, friend 730 been tuned to 730, 900 and 1200. This is ideal when moving 250 ton loads. And this week, he just bought a 30 DAF trucks to replace 30 Volvos due to price difference. And fifth truck was free. Wow. Wow. That's a cost saving, that is. Uh, battle him. Thank you for 100 bits. Have you ever played this online? Uh, we'll be playing next Saturday, dude. You'll be able to watch a, a huge convoy next Saturday. If if everything goes to plan. Pulsar. They're not bad. Quite those little pulsars. Okay, that's that. Let's come down here. Let's change this. What can we have? Plastic. Paint. Boss brand. Hmm. We'll just have to paint that. Is there nothing else we can stick that? 
plastic front panel FH painted. Please don't tell me this is going to get rid of my light bar. Well, none of these adverts really work for me, so I'll have to have to go with that, I'm afraid. Daff is cheap for a reason. They don't work for long, says Danish Dad. I'll just leave you with that one. It's your life, mate. Yes, I'll be streaming it, Joku. You might fly the Dash 8 tomorrow for the first time in a while on a flight sim. Dash 8's wonderful. I love it. Such a lovely plane to fly. It, it, you get like stunning frame rates and the, just the implementation of it is so well done. It really is a dream to fly and it sounds legit. Uh, they're inside of the back, aren't they? Let's go with the orange emblem. Why is there a dot inside that's modifying the panels over here? That's... that's Kind of weird. Passion for power, he says, driving around in his 420. Quite like that one. That's my favourite so far. Windows Extra. Okay, there's such a thing as too many options. There you go, that's better. That looks classy. Is this an off job? Oh, yeah. Uh, don't think I want this in my life. Happy anniversary. A little bit tacky. Matter. We'll skip that one. Viking LED. They're very subtle. We'll go with that. Case looks ugly. I agree. <clears throat> Stefan, thank you for six months. Uh, not that, not that. Right, fully painted. Hey! That changes it a bit. Painted in chrome. Old school combo. Hmm. Hmm. I like that, but I don't like the fact that this white line doesn't meet anymore. If just that bit there was white, I'd like this black strip here. It's a nice separation, but I don't like that. Sounds like YouTube may be a downward spiral unless they sort the mess out. What alternatives are other though? I don't know, dude. I mean, you've got platforms like Vimeo and stuff, but they're, they're completely different. And, you know, if you've built up a reasonable channel, the idea of trying to build up a reasonable channel on a different platform is just, oh. You think the paint chrome plastic is best? Yeah, it's just that. It's irking me slightly because you see, oh, I just want that full paint bit there and I can't have it. But we're going to have to settle with that, I'm afraid. Might put some chrome trim on this. Let's see how it looks. I think I prefer the black with the orange stripe because the, the black bit on this kind of, you know, sits well with this and that. You get this kind of black effect. kind of breaks the white up a bit. So it's not so like in your face. Does anyone know if ETS2 syncs or works? I have no idea. Anyway, what did we get here? Biohazard. Hot content. I'll tell you what, I don't like the 4K Volvo texture here, though. What is going on with that? Like, you can visibly see the aliasing. That, that's not pleasant at all. 
I don't know if there's any way to get rid of that. There's, there's no option that gets rid of it that doesn't look ridiculous. Ugh. The texture in 2018 is pretty horrific. Uh, JDL, it's um, the Ohaha mod. If you look at my mod spreadsheet, look for either Ohaha, Volvo, FH12, or Pendragon. Pendragon's the guy that's maintaining it. Ohaha's the guy that originally built it. We don't change this grill. It's usually a dot that lets you completely change the style of the grill. Hmm. Curious. What's your journey plan? Uh, we're, st we're setting out, if you remember, last week we finished out in East Russia. Make it the same white as the surround. Make what? Mod spreadsheet. Mods. Dot squirrel. Dot TV. Sparrow, thank you for the 100 bits. Long time to see. Finally properly back. Welcome back, Sparrow. I'm disappointed I can't change that grill, or I just can't find the dot for it, because normally you can... You can do that. Okay, let's see what options we've got here. Yikes. 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 Mm-hmm. Am I missing something here? It says bull bar, but there's no bull bar. What's going on? Did I remove it? Uh, can you tell me why Rust Map is giving trouble with pro mods? I can't because I've, it's working fine for me. I would suggest to you, Sander, that when you when you go back and look at the Rust Map file that you downloaded, and in there is a README file, and it lists the order that you have to put those mods. It's a very important order that you need to get right. I'd suggest that's your problem. Put one of those absolutely amazing bull bars on the front. It's getting uglier, dude. I haven't changed it in like three minutes. <laughs> You're playing some great cheese on that grill. I can't change it. <laughs> There's no dot to change it. But what I don't get is why these bull bar options are not giving me any bull bars. It's very confusing. Happy anniversary, Nutter. These are all plastic. That's painted. That looks nicer. Yes, I like that black trim though. That works nicely. That works better. That's a, a better... Better finish down there. That's too low. It's also too low. That's always going to look ridiculous. For that. The dot under the chassis. This one. Um, I'm not as sure what that changes. That changes that. Okay, good spot, because I would never have found that. Well, I would have done later and gone, what? <laughs> 